YouTube. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. I am doing a story time. Those of you who are new, I am a hairstylist. I've been a hairstylist for about four years now. I'm doing a story time on my fight in the hair salon. So I had been working and I haven't told this story to nobody, only the people that is close to me, like my family and my best friends. It had been maybe a year that I was working in the shop. And for almost a year, I was like the only girl working in there because I was working with barbers as well. One side was for the hairstylist and then the other side was for the barbers. And so um, uh, the owner came to me and asked me about this certain person. So I was like, oh man, well, I didn't know them. He just showed me their work. So I was like, man, they are good. You know, I was like, probably need to hop on that. So he ended up hiring the person. And um, when I met the person, like, matter of fact, I'm gonna back it up. Before he even brought to my attention of the person, like, asked me about them, I had saw the person in Sally's and I knew nothing about that person, but he knew me. And uh, when I was at the register, he was like, ain't your name Tisha, you do hair? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, you do real good hair. So I was like, thank you. And uh, he, you know, he told me he was a hairstylist or whatever. So um, it went from there and you know, it was just pretty much thank you and then bye or whatever. So we never kept in contact. And then I think like um, maybe a couple of weeks or so, was when he reached out to the owner of the shop that I worked at and then that's when the owner came to me. So fast forwarding to um, <laughs> when he started, it was good, you know, good vibes or whatever. It wasn't until like he began to like say a little slick shots. <laughs> like, anybody who's around me anybody who knows me they know that any negative energy i don't take that very lightly i just pretty much stay away from it and i just don't deal with stuff like that so we would kick it or whatever well not kick it well basically just talk to each other in the shop when we had downtime and um so he basically um like he would come down there to my station or whatever when I even when I had clients and it became to be annoying but I still didn't say anything because you know sometimes people need people to talk to so I was just being that person you know whatever so um this one particular day um I had my client I was working with a client and he um was doing a lot of laughing with his client which I took you know none of it but it was like some real loud sneaky laughing type situation so like my station was like right here here's another station and then his station was like right there so it's like i will i can hear everything so i'm just down there you know just attending to my um client or whatever so i had on like a cardigan with like the little cute little things that hang from the bottom of it and then he was like um hey tish i was like what's up he was like um yeah me and my client was just laughing at your little cardigan thing because it's made like a net and if these niggas was mosquitoes <laughs> what he said and if these niggas was mosquitoes you'll catch all of them so i'm like <laughs> so like at this point i'm like bro really trying to be funny you know what i'm saying so but i ain't i still ain't take nothing to it or whatever so i kind of like brushed it off and then like after that he just started hitting me with like little slit little stuff on the side and i just thought like maybe i'm tripping you know i ain't really just trying to, because i used to have a little attitude on me but you know by this time I'm growing into the new me. I'm growing into, you know, a lot of things that I wasn't used to. So of course, that was a battle for me to just hold my tongue. So it was this day. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm gonna say it just like that. 
it was 2017. I had a client, I was doing her some real pretty plaits. I remember because she was getting red and black. And I was like, finally, somebody with some color so, I, so they can really, you know, I can show the braid pattern off. So I'm just down there doing my own client hair. And he came, waltzed a little behind on down there to my station and then pulled up a chair and sat down by us. But I didn't mind because he knew my client. So they were talking and stuff. And um, so he went on to talk about this one dude who I knew personally and I went to school with. I guess he had volunteered to work at his fashion show or whatever, but it was like his first fashion show or whatever. And um, so he started talking about the fashion show. I wasn't expecting anything, you know, negative to come out of his mouth because to my knowledge, I thought he really fooled with the dude or whatever. He went on to talk about how ghetto it was and this and that. And then I let him keep talking. He went on to talk about this one girl, like just saying some really bad stuff with her. And I knew who she was, you know what I'm saying? I was like, she cool, we cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not on it. Basically trying to get me to talk about her with him. And so he went deep into, so when he saw that I wasn't with that, he went more into the show, like just slandering the man name. And like the show, I'm like, I'm gonna stop you right there. I went to school with him. I said, I haven't heard you say not one thing good about this man. And that was his first show. So he got a little agitated about that or whatever, but it still wasn't anything major, you know, or whatever. So after then, I kept, like, he got quiet, and, cause he, he really, like, when I say it, I had to, sh like, shut him down, because, first and foremost, my client is right here, bro, like, don't be talking about people while they sitting in my chair, I'm very professional with my clients, and I want them to come back, I don't, I don't do stuff like that, so then, he was like, um, you know you can look up people name who ain't got their license, me, at the time, I didn't have my license, you know, but I was just a braider, mainly a braider. So I'm like, um, like in my mind, I'm thinking like this man getting real messy right now. You know what I'm saying? He agitated right now and being positive is the furthest thing from his mind. So then he went into, um, you know, you can type in anybody's name, like just put in the camp, his phone all in my face while I'm doing this girl hair. So I'm like, bruh, jet pack up. So I was like, by this time, I'm agitated. He agitated, so I'm like, hey. I said, I don't care about that. I said, like, while my client's in the right, I was like, I don't care about that. I said, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should maybe go right down there to your um station. So, my he was, like, he by this time, he had stood up, like, showing me, like, the website to go to to type in people's names to see if they got their license. So I'm like, bruh, like he, he's standing right here, but I'm like, bruh, you probably want to go back down there to your station. <laughs> so then he got mad, so he was like, um, I ain't gotta go no mother if and well. So I'm like, by this time I am appalled. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like coming at bruh real positive. Ain't no, no, you know what I'm saying? Take your aid, this and that, like what, when somebody else would have been, you know, got out of line with him, but I wasn't. So then he was like, get your hand on my face. I'm like, my hand's still like this. So I'm really like, like, it's Saturday. The shop is full of people. And so it became a scene. So I'm like, bro, my hand not in your face. Then he just started like ranting, like just going out bad. So then I'm like, I put my hand in, my, in his face. I'm not gonna lie. I put my hand in face. I was like, my hand wasn't in your face. And I said, not my hand in your face. I said it just like that. And so I was like, you know what? I apologize for that. I was like, I'm just gonna go to the back and tell the manager, you know, this ain't it or whatever. So then he sat back down. He said, oh, I ain't gotta go nowhere. He done sat back down. So I went back to the back. I'm like, bruh, your bruh out here tripping. <laughs> I was like, please come calm him down. So he was like, the owner was like, what's going on? What's going on? So I'm like, he just out here tripping, man. You know, come out here and you know, like, Jack it, bro. So I'm in the back, owner trying to, you know, go see what's going on. So when I walk back out there to like with the owner, he stood up and started walking towards me and was like, um, "Don't make me show out in this beat. Don't make me show out in this beat. I, um, you know how I am." So I'm like, it really just 
something ticked. And when I say, <laughs> I ain't see nothing else. I ain't see nothing else. Like he caused a scene like nobody was really paying attention to us up until the point that he did that. He did that in front of my client and from the entire shop. So the owner just pretty much called him back there where we was. And um, the owner was like, bro, why you doing all that? You know what I'm saying? So I tell the owner what's going on. And then he went into... um. You can't dress. You don't never keep your hair dead. The clothes you be wearing be too little. And he was just saying like a whole lot of crazy dumb stuff that was really just driving me nuts. And then like I'm standing here looking at this boy like you know the godly me, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the me that had changed before I even stepped in his place. But by that time he just went to just talking, 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 talking. Then he kind of stepped up. And when he stepped up to me, I felt like he was going to get ready to hit me. And then I just reached back and I punched him dead in his mouth. And as he grabbed his mouth, he was like, <gasps> like really shocked. And it, like hell, I was shocked. <laughs> so then by this time, he trying to just, you know, stop us from arguing. But when I hit him, Every barber in the building was looking. They was ready to come back and give him the business because they already knew what type of person that I was. Like I said, I had been working with these dudes for like almost a year, just me and them. And they knew for a fact that I wasn't on that. And for, for them to even see me step out of line like that, it was a shock. And they knew that he was extra because he was already doing a lot of extra stuff anyway while he was there. So then after that, um, no, back it up. I'm going to rewind it. When when the owner caught me in the back, he went over to the next room beside us, sneak listening to what we were talking about before um, the owner even asked him to come back inside of the room. So fast forward to after the altercation happened, I pretty much, I walked out like, bruh, thank you for the opportunity, but I can no longer work here. Like I had, I had to really like get myself together and for one i was scared because i thought the po i thought he was calling the police because when i was went to packing my stuff i was like you know don't leave you know i'll make him leave before you leave so i was like nah it wasn't even a month this boy wasn't even in the shop for one whole month and he caused so much ruckus like i just didn't want to be around that type of energy i was like no nah. i was like you know you gave him a chance to step out on faith and you know, he only been here for like three weeks. So, you know, he can stay and I'll leave or whatever. I had no idea where I was going. I just knew that I didn't want to be there anymore. And um, so I was packing my stuff. He down there, he just calling people. So I'm really just thinking he calling the police. So I went to packing my stuff fast. <laughs> I went to packing my stuff faster. So, um, you know, the owner was just like, no, just listen, do not leave. But I, after, after I did that, I couldn't leave because I had embarrassed myself. I had embarrassed his business. Like, I just felt so bad. And I couldn't believe that I let that dude take me out of my character. Like, that was just something so wild and beyond my imagination. Because I had built myself up to a point where I can be able to stand the rain. And I can be able to go against people silently. But... He took me off that night and I felt so bad about it. But um, yeah, so that was my story time. And um, those of you who are working at home and thinking about getting into a shop, I say do it. Because the shop that I'm talking about, that was the shop that birthed Tisha T. And um, get it with somebody who will help you out. I started out like a lot of people that I hear talking about their first time in the shop, they start out with like, you know, little to minimum um, booth rate. I started out at 125. I never paid less than 125 in a booth. And I had no clientele. I had absolutely no clientele. I had to get out there and grind. I passed out flyers, even when people like wasn't even passing out flyers, business card. I was just letting people know where I'm at. 
you know i almost quit so many times but i had the owner who was there to motivate me each time so if you do you know experience if you do if you are thinking about hopping into a shop i say do it but do it with somebody who's a good person who you know who will lend out a helping hand and during those situations when where you have co-workers who are so nitpicky like just picking for no reason because lord knows before i before we even had that altercation that boy was being very nitpicky with me and i took a lot of the stuff that he was saying about me that he the little slit stuff i took all that but it took that one time for him to just try me up like that and it that happened so i say if you are in a shop now and you are around people who are nitpicky who are just who you feel as though is jealous about you pray about it and eventually god will move you from that situation or remove them from um this situation but that's all i have to say hope you guys enjoyed my story time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i am out